A well, Mobile County Circuit Court judge denied motions for summary judgment filed by the Mobile Firefighters Union and the City of Mobile. The Mobile Firefighters Association is suing the city and it is upset that Mobile police officers were given incentive pay last year and firefighters were not. The judge says he wants to hear more testimony at a later date. NBC 15's Lisa Lebrenyak joins us live. Lisa, there were a lot of officers in that courtroom today. Yeah, Kim, the room was packed. Both officers and firefighters were there to hear what each side had to say. The Mobile Firefighters Association is suing the city of Mobile after it gave Mobile police officers a $5,200 incentive. The lawsuit is all about pay parity. The suit claims the city did not give firefighters the same deal. Pay parity is about making sure employees in the same job and location are paid fairly to one another. Mobile Fire Rescue firefighters believe the city has implemented a pay raise that's disguised as an incentive. Based on what they're asking for and the merits of the shift incentive policy, the firefighters are eligible for it. The only difference is, is our certifications that you have to have coming on the job is no different than what the APO certification is for the respective police officers. We all have different shifts. They have three different shifts. We have two to three different shifts. One of the mischaracterizations that was put in here today is that all firefighters work just as 24-48, and that's inaccurate. Matt Waltman is the president of the Mobile Firefighters Association. Part of the city's argument was about the hours police officers have to work versus firefighters, many of them having to work overnight shifts and have to make a court appearance the next morning. Some called in at a moment's notice. Another argument in court was about the shortage of officers and the police department's high attrition rate. But here's the big thing I want you all to realize. Since the implementation of this incentive policy, the fire department <clears throat> has lost over 10% of their workforce since last year. 60 people, around 60 people walk out the doors of the MFRD. The majority of them are all resignations. City Attorney Ricardo Wood says in part, quote, the action before court is to determine if Mobile police officers can continue to receive incentive pay due to the challenging nature of their jobs. Now, the next court date so far is set for May 3rd. Uh, we'll keep you updated because they were talking about in the courtroom that it could change maybe earlier or later, later, but we'll be sure to let you know online or on air. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Lisa Libraniak, NBC 15 News. Lisa, thank you. NBC 15 News is committed to holding those in power accountable. If you see an issue in our community that we need to address, give our reality check hotline a call.